Please join me in welcoming the newest member to the Santa Clara Athletic Hall of Fame, the best basketball player from, from Canada <laughs> to ever attend the university, Steve Nash. Thank you. This is uh Thank you. That's that's funny. Thank you. No, please. Okay, keep it going. Uh, uh, no, you know what? This is intimidating because all these guys here are wearing white jackets. It's kind of weird, but it's also intimidating because of how much these guys mean to me and uh you know, I would never want to let these guys down. So, um, so I'll start by saying I'm probably going to let them down because I didn't write a beautiful speech like Kurt Rambis. I, um, it's just, it's not my style. I, I, uh, like many of the faculty here, I, I deplore myself as a writer. So I refuse to like even write words down before I feel ridiculous. But. Um, Listen, first, Kurt, this is, it was a huge honor. I didn't, when you, when I saw you and Linda yesterday, I didn't know you were introducing me. I don't know if there's a communication gap here, but like, I was like, wow, Kurt's here is amazing. This is great. I didn't know you were going to introduce me. I was like, wow, fantastic. I played for Kurt one year with the Lakers and had an awesome time learning from him and working with him. And he's such an incredible guy. I remember back when we were in college, you know, Kurt Rambis was like, Michael Jordan, the Santa Clara kids. And I was like, we used to say, like, where's Rambis? We never see him. This is like, you know, <laughs> he's never here. And now, you know, obviously, 20 years later, I'm never here. And <laughs> of having kids, I'm like, yeah, I get it. He was never here for a good reason. So, you know, we, we all uh, obviously looked up to him and were uh, incredibly proud to play at a school that he played at and obviously for the coaching staff. So thanks, Kurt, for coming up and Linda thank you so much for for being here yeah. I don't know it's uh it, this is a hard thing for me especially when I go unscripted which is always um but uh we uh, first I want to thank my wife Leela who uh, is, uh, is due with our four you know a, a little guy in a couple months and we have Mateo, Lola, and Bella, who are here, which is fantastic to share some of this with them because, thank you. Yeah, we, um, I don't know, for you guys, you, you missed a lot of my career, and I, it's just great. And at the same time, I'm kind of like, now that I have no career, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, it's kind of cool that you're here. You guys don't care at all, which is awesome, but it all works out. I feel great about it. Thanks. Um, and Mateo, you can't have my phone, so let's just start there. Yeah, sit down, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> That's good. Um, I also want to thank my mom and dad. Mom and dad are here somewhere. And uh, yeah. they, uh, they were incredibly supportive of me and uh, just like the perfect parents. My, my, uh, our family was awesome, my parents were incredible, and I, had a, I was lucky enough to have a dad who didn't know anything about basketball, but knew, yeah, he didn't, but he knew about sports, he was a soccer player, played professional soccer at some level, and he always appreciated the subtlety of sports and the angles and passes and the wit, wittiness and the cleverness of, of being a player. And, and for somebody that wanted to play in the NBA, it couldn't have been a better breeding ground than trying to out kick and jump and run people because I, that wasn't me. And so I had a dad who said, like, you can trick people, you can deceive them, you can fool them, you can speak a different language and you can be great even though you might not be able to outrun and jump them. And that really, I don't know, I think that's, that's the end of it. That says it all right there. So thanks mom and dad, yeah, for sure. Uh, we've, we've lost some people, and I might have, because I'm trying to keep this all together, but we've lost Larry Hauser, who was uh, one of our assistant coaches who I adored, and was in charge of the guards, and uh, man, I remember him up there 
uh, when they, we used to have the old like practice court, we had a couple extra hours in the summer and telling me to cover the ball with my chest, which I don't know that that was true, but like his passion for the game. <laughs> His passion for the game was unbelievable, and, and he knew the game inside and out. He was a fantastic coach and an unbelievable guy, and I could tell 1,000 Larry Hauser stories that could not make the edit right now, so we're going to just leave it there, but he, we miss him. We miss him dearly, and we, all of us, I think we agree, we miss that man, and uh, we love him, so we, we miss you, House. And uh, um, Jim Jennings. Jim Jennings is, I mean, he was one of these guys that... Well, not one of these guys. He was the guy that came here every day and gave unbelievably to this program. He donated his time and energy to all of our pursuits and our our careers as academic students, but also basketball players. And I mean, we we had a, we had an ally, a real ally, and I, and I know he went on for generations before us. So I. I Man, we miss Jim Jennings, right? We miss Jim Jennings. He was unbelievable. Yeah, I met his, I met his daughter Michaela tonight, and uh, wow, he was, he was an unbelievable guy. Uh, who am I missing? We lost someone else. Did we lose someone else? Anyone? <laughs> this is this is interactive, boys. <laughs> this, this, like, I'm not in here alone. We're all in the white coats. Like, it's, no? Okay, thanks. That's great. Thought we were teammates. We got inducted together, but that's all right. Um, the school. This is, a, a, I mean, this is an unbelievable uh, university, first of all. It's a fantastic place, yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, one of the best educations in the country, in the world, and it's also uh, a place that if you went here, you or if you've been here, you've studied here, you understand that you're a part of uh, something special, part of a, a family and a fabric that is um, unique and means something, and that was is historic and has been here, one of the been the pioneer pioneer universities in California, and has gone on to mean something and. For, for us to be here and to be a part of this fabric and culture is something that doesn't go amiss with all of us. And we feel very lucky that, you know, we, we actually graduated from Santa Clara. We went to Santa Clara, whereas when you're on the other side choosing schools, you have no idea what it means. And, you know, I think all of us are thankful for that. This is a fantastic school. And I'd like to thank the university and the support system that we had from the faculty and all the teachers that uh, supported us and allowed us to be, you know, the best possible versions of ourselves that we've become. And, the, and, that, and that goes for the Bronco bench as well. I mean, what an unbelievable job. When we, when, when we were here, this campus was a little different. I'm not gonna say we're bitter, but uh, <laughs> but uh, we, you know, we're we're pleased to see things going in the right direction. <clears throat> to no benefit of ourselves, but um, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's it's unbelievable to see the campus and the growth and uh, forward thinking and how this university has been able to re-envision itself year after year is fantastic. So we're incredibly proud of the school, the faculty, Bronco Bench, everybody for their role in, in taking Santa Clara forward and making it a, a force to be reckoned with. So well done and thank you. Um, my teammates. These guys, I mean, this is incredible. Like, uh, we, we had uh, two teams that, we had three teams that made the NCAA, NCAA tournament um, my, my freshman, junior and senior year, and recognized two of them, which are basically the same two teams. But um, freshman year, I, ca I came to Santa Clara. I had zero options. I was uh, a kid from Canada that everyone thought was, terrible and or by the standard I, I thought I was really good obviously <laughs> um, I thought like things were gonna happen for me and we had uh, sent some tapes to people and and like somehow like what the world works in its mysterious ways obviously and so does the Lord Jesuit of course and uh, 
we we had a, a tape that uh, one of our, our our assistant coaches, Scott Graydon, saw that thought like this tape came across my desk, and th I think this guy can play. And I think that tape was super underwhelming to the rest of the staff, <laughs> and I was still you know languishing in Victoria, British Columbia. But we sent another tape down. Um, and I think Scott was proven right. So Scott Graydon was a, was a big part of, part of having, you know, big, big, big part of, um, you know, pushing for me. And that, that, like, you know, you always need to push from somebody in life. And um, Scott gave me a little push there, and that was huge. Uh, Coach Davey and Carol were, you know, fantastic and following up and giving me a chance. And I came down on a visit. It was my only visit, and uh, was was given a scholarship. And and the rest, in some ways, is history. But I, like as a as a as a guy that was lucky enough to play 18 years in the NBA, I I got to play for you know Coach Dave. I I also I kind of got to play for Coach Williams because he had the program for decades. Coach Davey assisted him for decades. I came into a stable culture and climate in which I, if anyone follows sports today, it's so invaluable to, to, to get, and it's rare to go into a place where we have a stable culture and climate and vision. Like that is so rare and so in, in, invaluable for a young athlete. And so I happen to come into this culture, this, this community, be a young basketball player that was an afterthought. We had seven freshmen, and uh, I was one of them. And you know, I, there was no nobody other than me had any aspirations of me playing in the NBA. But I had, you know, these this incredible institution here with Carol and Dick, and you know, it it, it set the. I don't know. I'm just trying to say that it, it like gave me an opportunity to be in a place where there was continuity, uh, and whereas in today's business where universities and college programs and, and every other thing in our planet is monetized, it's difficult. It's difficult to be in a place where you have some sort of continuity. So I was lucky for that. I had an unbelievable assistant coach, Larry Hauser, who I mentioned, who we've, who we've lost, you know, in the last few, you know, last years, and we miss him. Uh, Steve Seandell, Scott Graydon, uh, Sam Shuley, and of course, Coach Davey, who, uh, listen, I, you know, it's difficult. Now I'm a, uh, now I'm a father. I have uh, three kids and a fourth on the way. One of them is dancing around in front of me. And I, <laughs> I'm, I literally want to punt him to the back of the room <laughs> any second. But I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna like honor the moment. Here's, here's the thing. I would, Coach Davey was really tough on us. Coach Davey was tough on us. It, it, honestly, if, if Coach Davey, I, I, he made my career. Like by him being tough on us. Nowadays we have, I hate to say it, I don't wanna get on a, on a pulpit here and try to preach, but like I think parents are so scared for someone to be tough on their child, but I, God, I hope my teachers and coaches are tough on my kids. And Coach Davey gave me everything. I was going, I wasn't trying to go to the city or Silicon Valley, which didn't exist when I went here a million years ago, but I, I wanted to play in the NBA. And to go up against men that were fighting for their job, you know, you had to be so resilient. And Coach Davey, every day was a test in resilience. And he fought us and fought us and fought us every day. And I can't imagine, as a parent of this little one who's slamming his head on the ground, the, the, like, the endurance to like, fight us every day is mind-boggling. So like, I, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. He challenged us every day. He fought us every day. And he made us men. And like, you look at this group of guys and what they've been able to do and the families they have and the success they've had. And the fact that there's two teams here and we have like a 98% you know, uh, 
rate of, of attendance. I mean, this is crazy. Like, and and people don't stay in touch with their teammates. Like uh, those seven freshmen I went to school with, we we all are in touch and and beyond. So, it's such a special school. If you went to Santa Clara, you understand what it means to you. If you play for this basketball program, you know even more what it means to you. If you play for Coach Davey, you're tough. You know, you're tough. You know what it means. Like, you're, you're going to be fine, you know. And uh, I, he taught me a lot, and he carried it on to my career. When I faced players that were better than me, bigger, stronger, tougher, more heralded than me, I got to play against them knowing that that's fine. You're, you're, today, yes, you're better than me. But I know a man who's taught me that in, in a certain amount of time, I'm better than you. And I can't thank him more for the impact he had on my career and the impact that his wife, Jeannie, had on him <laughs> means everything to me. So, like, this ovation could go on forever because, yeah, come on. I think we all feel this way. Coach Davey, Coach, Coach Davey made all of us more successful than we would have ever been if we didn't meet him, and we didn't train with him every day, and we owe him a lot, and we're all thankful. Yeah, agreed? Agreed, yeah. So thank you, Coach Davey. Incredible. I really don't have anything else to say. Uh, I, I just want to say that uh, I'm incredibly proud. You know, life moves on. I feel so far away from the school sometimes, but my heart always feels so close to the school. Always want to see the school doing well. Always want to see people thriving in this community. Always want to feel, feel the, the teams, you know, growing and producing student athletes that become, you know, incredible members of our community. And that's what it's all about. It's like, you know, at the end of the day, we all just want to be the best version of ourselves we can, whether it's a basketball player or a member of community or a parent or, uh, you know, part of the fabric that is Santa Clara that permeates itself out into the world. And that, I mean, that is for me what makes this school incredible is to see how far we've reached and how many things we've done together. So. I would just like everyone to stand up, raise a glass, and say thank you so much to everybody that's involved in this great university and made it you know, the special place it is that I love and that these guys love and that we all were a part of. I, I couldn't, I mean, I had the best teammates I could ever ask for, and I love these guys, and we'll be friends for the rest of my life. And uh, I, I want to thank everyone else here, and I want to ask you to support them and everyone involved in this university. And, all the success we've had, so thank you. Yeah. Get up, boys, get up. He's a proven winner. Then also looking at, you know, the, the university itself and the history and the tradition that there has here. What a play by Matt Smithwick on a full stretch to end the inning. That is one of the best diving catches you're going to see all season long.